you wanted to know about my Bible uh, here it is this is my Thompson chain reference Bible that I've had since approximately 1996 to 98 I want to say I know the uh, the, um, the time it's written in the front and as you can see I too make notes I, I make a lot of notes in my Bible I mean it, it is a study Bible this Bible has been through a few churches <laughs> and I, as you see I have notes in it written in it and, and I just I like the Thompson chain reference Bible because you can use it with a uh, Strong's concordance and in the back of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible, as you can see, I have all kind of colors. I have songs, benedictions. The thing I like about the back of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is the fact that there are different topics that you can look up in the back of the Bible. Let's say, for instance, if somebody wants to know about um, the satanic ifs, there it is. If they want to know about unworthiness, there it is. And there's another part about the Bible, this Bible that I like. It has something called the Christian Worker's Outfit for questions you may have. Like if you want to know um, uh, people who try to make excuses, there's things in there for that. Um, too many mysteries in your life and you need uh, scripture, there's answers for that. I like this. There's a dictionary in this Bible. And here's the concordance in the back. I love this. I love the concordance. If someone wants to look up something, it tells you everywhere that it's at in the Bible. There's something else I want to show you here if I can find it. There it is. It has uh, like the footsteps of Jesus, the footsteps of uh, the Apostle Paul. And I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And this I love. This shows the different uh, post-resurrection appearances of Jesus. And on this side, it has the Holy Cross, the time that Jesus died. Let me see if I can get this in for you. I have so many notes on here. The time that Jesus died, as you know, they start their mornings at 5 or 6 in the morning in Israel. And it shows the, t the time he uh, went to court, the time he died, the things that happened in between. There's his footsteps. It, this Bible's just awesome. It's just awesome. And as you can see, it needs redone really, really bad. Uh, <laughs> wait, I just want to show you something. I have all kind of notes in here. Believe it or not, this Bible, if I could get it out, I want to show you what it looks like. Let me see if I can get it out. Hold on. I have put this Bible together with an address book. This is what it originally looks like it's it used to be purple uh, but now it's I don't know <laughs> and you can see it has a huge indentation here from where I I fold it back when I'm teaching people see that used to be the name of the Bible and I have to find something to put it in but that's my Bible God bless and thanks for the opportunity that video was awesome for, for you to think of something like that. It was very, very awesome. And I thank you for giving us uh, the ability to be able to tell people about our Bibles. God bless. Reverend Essie signing off.